Hi there everyone, welcome to Tech Cravers. In this video we're doing something that I wanted to do for many years. I recently went and picked up this beautiful PS Vita. It's the OLED version, also known as the PS Vita 1000. And I actually think this is one of the most beautiful handouts I've ever seen. I never picked one up back when it was released, since, to be totally honest, I was a Nintendo fanboy back then. But I'm super happy that I found one in this great condition. And in this video I'm gonna show you the somewhat messy, yet at the same time extremely easy way to jailbreak it so we can install homebrews and games on it. The PS Vita has some of my all-time favorites on it, so I'm really looking forward to playing Metal Gear Solid, God of War and Ratchet and Clank in native handheld mode again. So without further delay, let's jump into it. Alright, so before we get started, the process to jailbreak a PS Vita has become much easier than it has ever been. However, there are still pretty many steps to do before we're done, but as long as you make sure to follow me through everything, you'll be fine. And the absolute first thing you want to do is to update your PS Vita to the latest version, which is version 3.74 as of June 2023. If you watch this video in the future, you might want to check that this is still the process before you continue with this. Of course, I'm gonna leave a link to the written guide in the description as well. Well, so you can make sure there. So once your PS Vita has booted, go into settings, tap on start, then scroll down to system, system information, and make sure that you are on system software 3.74. And if you're on a lower firmware, just update your PS Vita through the normal method. Also make sure that you're on a stable Wi-Fi connection and have your charger connected at all time before continuing. You don't want that to fail while jailbreaking since you might end up breaking your device. Once done with that, open the browser on your PS Vita and head over to https colon slash slash jailbreak.psp2.dev and tap enter. And you will be taken to this Henlo site. It says welcome to Henlo, unlock your Vita and run unofficial games and applications. Tap on unlock my Vita and then press unlock again to begin the process. And you will be taken to this Henlo bootstrap menu. And if you have the PS Vita 2000, you can tap install Henkaku and skip ahead. But all of you who has the PS Vita 1000 model, as I have here, you need to follow my exact steps. Click on replace near with Vita deploy. And you will get this warning. And if you want to continue, press this square button. An installation will start and then it will reboot your device. Once you're back on your Vita, tap the browser again. And once again, click through the Henlo unlock site. And once back at this menu, this time we can do as the PS Vita 2000 owners and install Henkaku. That will only take a few seconds and once it's done, click on exit. And once you're back on your home screen, go back into settings. And now you can see that we have Henkaku settings. Open it up and make sure to enable unsafe homebrews. Exit out of settings and once you're back at your home screen, open up the new Vita Deploy application. And from here, go to miscellaneous, and now we're gonna set up our PS Vita 1000's internal storage. And to do this, we're creating an internal memory card. So tap that option right away. Then click that you understand that if something goes wrong, there is no recovery. Scroll down to default to triple X storage configuration. Tap X and then press any key to reboot. Once rebooted, head into settings again and we're gonna format that new 1GB internal storage that we just created. So scroll down, tap on format and format memory card. And here you can see that we now have that internal memory card with 1GB. So make sure that you have selected the internal memory card, then tap on next and format. And then tap on yes. Your PS Vita will once again reboot itself and once you're back we're launching the browser to get to the Henlo menu one last time. And since we made that internal storage, we are now able to install Vita Deploy. PS Vita 2000 or TV owners who have installed Henkaku in the last step are now on the same phase as the rest of us and can continue to install Vita Deploy as well. And once it says all done, you can return to the home screen again. 
Once there, just to make sure, go into settings and then tap on Henkaku settings and make sure that you have enable unsafe homeroom marked. Exit back to the home screen and scroll down and open the new Vita Deploy app that you have. And now it's time to downgrade our OS back to 3.65. So click on install a different OS and then tap on quick 3.65 install. And this will take a few seconds as it downloads and prepares for you to install 3.65 instead of the 3.74 that we're currently on. After a while you will see this message, do you really want to downgrade from firmware 3.74 blah blah blah, press X to confirm or R to exit. Then you have to wait for 20 seconds before you can press X to confirm. Your PS Vita will reboot and now you can head into settings, scroll down to system and tap on system information to see that you have successfully downgraded your OS. After that you want to stop your device from auto updating to the latest firmware in the future, so under system tap on auto start settings and uncheck the mark for download update file for system software. Now go back and head into the Henkaku settings from before. Make sure that all of the three boxes in the top are checked. Now scroll down and click on spoofed version. Here you want to make sure it says 3.74 since that will tell any online services that you are on firmware 3.74 and thus can play online games for instance. Head back to the home screen and reopen Vita Deploy. And we're gonna install ITLS installer which will make sure that you can play online on older firmware as well. So go into app downloader, put a check mark next to ITLS installer, then scroll back up and click on download selected apps. Once the installation is complete, exit out of the installer and open the new bubble on your home screen. Once here, click on install the full ITLS package. It will take a while and after this, the device will reboot once again. The ITLS installer will make sure that we can use the PS Store if you would like to buy something from there and a few other things as well. But now to something really cool. We're gonna install an SD to Vita adapter so that we can use a regular micro SD card instead of Sony's own super expensive cards. This means that we can put our entire PSP and PS Vita game library on a micro SD card and play from there. Alright, so with the new micro SD card adapter inserted, scroll down and head into Vita Deploy again. From here scroll down to miscellaneous, then tap on format a storage device, make sure that target says SD to Vita and file system says text fat, and then tap on format target storage. Click OK when it says formatted, back out and then tap on mount SD to Vita to GRWO colon. Now head back into the app downloader again, here you want to download the Yamped installer, so mark that and then scroll back all the way up and tap on download selected apps. And once that is complete, back out of the installer and head back to the home screen again. From here open the new bubble that you can see. And once the installer is open, click on install light version and then your device will reboot again. Once rebooted, go into settings and then on devices and then on storage devices. Here you want to check the marker next to use YAMT. Also make sure that UX0 is set to default and UMA0 is set to SD to Vita. After this you actually want to hold down the power button and tap on power off. Once it's completely shut off, power it on again and once again head into the Vita Deploy app on your home screen. Now you want to go into the app downloader and this time you want to install an app called VitaShell. VitaShell is like a file browser for your PS Vita and we will need it to move a few files. Open up VitaShell and here you can just follow my exact steps. Select the UXO folder and press X. 
Scroll down and highlight any of the folders and press triangle. Then choose to mark all. Press triangle again and this time tap on copy. Navigate out by tapping on circle, this time go into the UMAO folder instead. Once again scroll down to the only folder you can see, tap on triangle and this time choose to paste all the files you copied earlier. Once that is complete, back out to the home screen and open settings again. Go to devices and then tap on storage devices and then tap on UXO and change from default to SD to Vita instead. And once that is complete, scroll down and change the UMAO to memory card. And once you have done that, tap on your power button and reboot your device. And once rebooted, you can go into settings, system and system information to confirm that we now have more memory than before. This of course means that we can now install more of those funny homebrews. So head back to the home screen and open up Vita Deploy for one last time for this tutorial. Go into the app downloader and I'm gonna tell you which apps I think you should get. But you're of course free to explore this on your own. First you should get the Vita DB downloader which is like a homebrew store with a lot of cool stuff. And then Adrenaline which is a PSP emulator that turns your Vita into a PSP, that's really cool. PKGJ is like a H shop on the 3DS and actually lets you download the entire PSP and PS Vita library should you want that. Keep in mind though that most countries would file this under piracy so make sure that you don't download anything that you haven't actually bought. Lastly I'm also grabbing custom themes manager and PS Vident as well. And if you missed what I did I just scrolled up and clicked on download selected apps. All the apps will start downloading and install and then you will get taken back to the home screen. And that's it, you have now successfully hacked your PS Vita 1000, 2000 or even PS TV. I really hope that this guide helped you out and that you might consider giving it a like if you did. Also give me a comment down below if you have a minute over. Also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell if you want more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, Tech Cravers out!